if you can see a bat flying with its baby clinging onto it through a thermal imaging camera, for example, that's an incredible experience for people to, to be able to witness. And there is no other way of doing it. Um, you, you can't have this sort of behaviour, natural behaviour, any other way than, than through a camera that can pick up the, the heat sensors. Well, we use thermal imaging uh, technology uh, to help conservation, um, which is trying to maintain the status of bats um, in woodlands uh, and many other areas in the UK. Basically what we're doing is we're providing a device that allows you to visualise heat. I think thermal imaging is being used more and more in conservation because it has one unique property. It allows us to monitor things without being obtrusive to them. Okay, we've just got a bat leave the roost. Um, there's another one in the entrance waiting to leave, looking around. It's just gone as well. Yeah, and there's another one. Uh, and another. And uh, we'll start counting them out now. It's four, five. Certainly, uh, bats have declined significantly due to a number of threats, predominantly loss of habitat, farming practices, um, construction work, demolition of roosts, demolition of buildings, loss of woodlands, etc.